Welcome back to Base Camp WNC. Well, it's the last weekend of February, last week of February here. And we're out to Strawberry Fields. Didn't have a chance yesterday to get it done, but I want to film some. We, uh, the whole field, was, everything was picked yesterday. Berries have been, this will be the, that was the fourth picking. But the berries have what they call dry caps. Here's one of them right here. Farmer Walter going crazy trying to figure out what to do about it. I said I don't think there's really a problem. It's uh night before last was 35 degrees and it got up to about 60 and last night was 38 degrees and it got up to about 60 today. They call them for about four days of rain and 40 to 60 degree weather. Um Walter went crazy yesterday and Covered all the strawberry plants up with the row covers again. And he said today, this afternoon he's taking them back off right now. Here it is about 2 o'clock. He's pulling covers. And they're rolling them up on the field again. And uh, he can't quite seem to make up his mind this year. But uh, like I said, we've been dealing with these strawberries and I really think what most of it is, is last week it got almost 80 degrees. And this week, the high, like I said, is gonna be 60. The berries shut down. They really don't do anything. They like a good 70 degree day, 80 every now and then, 40, 50 at night's beautiful. And we just ain't getting it. We get a lot of cloudy, overcast days. But with the covers on, and as you see, we got plenty of white blossoms out here. Um, with the covers on, the bees can't pollinate them. So, it's a double-edged sword. You cover them up to protect them from the frost or freeze and damage. And, but then they don't get pollinated. But if you look down there, I mean, I mean, you take a look at all the, the green berries here, 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 all over the plants. They're all loaded with them. So, bees snuck in there sometime and pollinated the things, but... We kept Walter busy. We put him on a tractor and he laid plastic. We'll go back here and look at some of the fields he's got. We'll stop in, look at the broccoli plants because if the weather holds off, they're gonna go in the ground here in the next week or less, depending on how much rain we get. So let's ride around the field right quick. Well, one quick stop here at the cooler. Just wanted to show you, we got all the shelves in. Two AC units and two cool bots. We got shelves all the way around. And today, we're finishing up the last door jam. Walter squirted some foam around that thing. And uh, we tried to fix some of the seal here on the door. And it's ready to go. So now I'll take you back down to the field. Well, I wasn't able to catch him on this field putting plastic down, but as you can see, he's got all the plastic laid down. At the end of the drip tape sitting there, it has to be brought over and hooked to the main line when it gets laid down. But this year, that field last year was turned the other direction. He turned it this way for some reason this year. I'm not quite sure Walter could tell you why he did it, but he changed the direction of it this year. But he's got that done and all of this done and on the he's got from here down to do but that's where the millet was and especially out here in the middle part of that field it's it's still kind of soft it's like a jelly filled donut it's kind of dry on the top but it's still wet and squishy inside and he can't get in there and i believe it's driving him crazy and of course the other strawberry fields do that little patch of woods and they got beds to put down there yet. This is where all the broccoli is gonna come and cauliflower. And uh, I'll take you over the greenhouse and show you that, but it's ready to go in next week. So barring any unforeseen multiple days of rain or something, this is fairly sandy land. They're gonna try to stick in the first quarter million broccoli plants and cauliflower and get them going. And we'll go over the greenhouse cause they're about a month old, five weeks now and we'll take a look and see what it's gonna look like. Well, here's the first greenhouse with the broccoli and everything in it. 
and as I said they're right now five weeks old and uh, there it is so this week next week they're ready to go in the ground pretty much we uh, if you can take them out of the tree without falling apart it's time for them things to find a home in the field and this is beautiful weather for them but uh, we seed in the other greenhouse they started the day with tomatoes and they got another crop of peppers and color flyers to do and then they'll seed another quarter million and see how it looks different varieties grow a little bit different you can tell this right here is a whole lot bigger but they're all seeded at the same time all the same day and uh color flyers a little bit slower growing than everything else but they're all coming out pretty good they just watered the greenhouse so it's a little bit wet but like i said unforeseen days of rain or too much mud these things will start going in the ground either this week at least by the first of next week and we're looking for the first weekend of march right there to go ahead and have the you pick it operation open and uh start having to pick these berries ourselves and go ahead and let the public pay for it and come in and get them as i always say like it share it subscribe we're going to take you along again on the planter and show you some common problems and how we, how we handle them on the market garden stay tuned thank you for watching